love it Ryan's TV Hey guys, welcome to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Seno. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this giant tuna. And also sushi go around as well. So I'm in front of the Kura restaurant. Kura restaurant is really popular kombei sushi restaurant in Japan. So in this video, I want to introduce my top 10 favorite sushi. So speaking of the restaurant where I am, I am in front of the Tsutenkaku. You see the tower over there? Yes, that's a really popular Osaka tower. So, before enter the restaurant, let me explain how to get to this restaurant from Shin Imamiya Station. <laughs> yeah, in that way, much easier to visit here, right? Let's go back to the Shin Imamiya Station. Let's go back. Alright, so here we go. This is Shimamiya Station, East Tsutenkaku Tower exit. After you get out from the exit, you have to turn left and keep straight. If you keep straight, you will see the huge building with Don Quixote and Maruhan. So, you have to cross the street. And when you get here, you see the huge tower over there, right? That's the Abe no Harukasu. It's the tallest building in Japan. I have a video about it, so if you're interested, please check that video. Anyway, so you have to turn left and keep straight. Speaking of this street, you can find Daiso, which is 100 Japanese yen stores. So, if you want to have some stuff with cheaper price, try that 100 Japanese yen store, Daiso. So, let's keep walking. And when you get here, you will see that Shinsekai sign. So, keep straight. In this way, you will get to the really popular Shinsekai food street. Here we go. Yes, this is the really popular food street, Shinsekai. This is the Yokozuna restaurant. This restaurant serves sumo restaurant size food. And I have tried the 10 serving size squid pancake over here. Well, it was a lot, but I could finish it though. If you're interested in that video, please check that. Well, the restaurant I want to introduce is not here today. It's over there. So let's keep straight. So this is the restaurant that I want to introduce. It is simple to get here, right? And also, it's right in front of Tsutenkaku. Okay, so anyway, let's get into the restaurant and let me introduce my favorite sushi. Alright, so I'm inside the restaurant, Kombei Sushi Kura. So let's order it. So those are the limited menus. Sometimes they have a limited menu. Make sure to check that, because usually they have cheaper price. So let's have a hot tea. So actually, this is how you get to do. There is a cup on the table, and here is a powder for the green tea. So you just need to pour this two times. And get the hot water from here. <sighs> awesome. So after you sit down, this is how you order. You see the green one over here? There is a language menu so that you can change it to other languages as well. If you touch it, there is a Japanese, English, Chinese, and Korean. So choose the language whichever you feel comfortable. Okay, so number 10, it's a surf club. You know, speaking of the surf club, it does look a bit weird, but it's tasty. By the way, here is the soy sauce. Yes, the red one is soy sauce. And the wasabi here. You can find the soy sauce and the wasabi over here. Alright, so let's eat. Itadakimasu. Let me place wasabi.
Oh, yeah. You know, it's kind of chewy, but uh, there is not so much ocean smell, so I like it. No, I feel this is like a squid. Hmm. So that's number 10. So let's check number 9. So here we go. This is my number 9. It's a pork shabu shabu with dressing. <laughs> it looks so good, right? Hmm. Oh, by the way, there is dressing on the meat, so you don't have to use the soy sauce. This really soft pork with dressing, and then the onion with this ginger. Tastes so good. Mmm, loving it. All right, so number eight, it's a seasoned egg. You see this seasoned boiled egg? So this is like egg on the ramen noodles. So if you love the ramen noodles egg, definitely you will love this. Mmm, holy shit. You see there's mayonnaise under the egg. This mayonnaise with egg, perfect. And number seven, it's a bonito with yuzu. Mm. You know, yuzu, just citrus flavor, so matches with the bonitos, also the green onion. Mm. You know, I really like the flavor of bonito. Alright, so let's keep going. So, number six, it's a tuna with egg yolk. Actually, there is sauce already on it. However, I like to use the soy sauce. Maybe I think this is not the right way to eat the, this tuna with the egg yolk. But uh, yeah, I just like it. Just eat it the way you like, right? Mm. There is a sweet sauce. And then look at this yolk egg. It is really soft. You know, the flavor is so good. So this is number five. It's a Takehime with Ikura. It's so cute, right? Of course, I like the regular Ikura too. But this one, you know, since it is so cute, I really like to eat it. Just pour the soy sauce and let's eat. Mm, I love Ikura. Look at this. Loving it. So number four, it's a shrimp avocado with onion. You see, there is mayonnaise. Speaking of this shrimp avocado, yes, it is really simple. I want to ask who doesn't like the avocado shrimp? Yes, it's a perfect combination. One problem is it's kind of hard to place the wasabi inside this shrimp avocado. I'm like, I don't care, just place it on the top and for the soy sauce and let's eat speaking of this place onion it's not spicy as the regular onion so it's much easier to eat yeah it's a sushi style <laughs> yummy so number three it's a blue hint tuna So this one is 100 Japanese yen, but one piece. But look at this fatty tuna! So let me place the wasabi here, like so. It is so soft, loving it. Alright, so let's go more. So number two is sweet shrimps. So this is a limited menu. One is a hand roll and then one is a sushi. It's only 100 Japanese yen. It's pretty good, right? So let's see. Hmm. Sweet shrimp is my favorite dish. However, when I was in the States, sweet shrimp was so expensive, so I couldn't eat that. Yeah, I remember one sweet shrimp like a 20 US dollars. Yeah, in Japan, one sweet shrimp, you can have 20 dishes. But the cool is of course different though. Look at this. 
Mm. It is really soft. All right, so let's check the last one, number one. So the number one is salmon berry. It looks so good, right? You know, I really like salmon, but then this salmon berry tastes better. And also, this salmon berry is not a limited menu so that you can always eat that. Look at this, it is really fatty. This flavor. You know, when you eat this salmon berry, after you place it in your mouth, immediately there is a really rich flavor. And then that's what I really love. Perfect. So if you love salmon, definitely you should try this. You will love it. <laughs> I kind of eat a lot, but I could introduce my favorite top 10 sushi, so it's okay. And also, those are all 100 Japanese yen, so even you eat this much, it's not that much. Still, there is a fun thing to try. So after you finish it, you just need to place the dish over here. And then after five, they're gonna start the game. Probably, even you don't understand Japanese, you know that I didn't win. So you can get that lottery after you finish the five plates. So if you eat more and more and more, you have a chance to win this big Rapon Gashapon here. Ooh, all right, so I'm so full. Okay, let's take off. That was so good. And then the price was 1,100 Japanese yen, 10 dishes plus 10% tax in Japan. So it's pretty cheap, isn't it? All right, so those are my 10 favorite sushi. Hope this video can help your Japan travel. All right, so this video pretty much that's it. There are many good and inexpensive restaurant guide videos and Osaka and Tokyo travel guide videos as well. So if you are thinking of traveling to Japan or you like Japan, please check my other videos as well. Well, so see you in the next video. Arigato so. Bye bye.